tips for you guys. What's up everybody, Ebert42 here, back with some more Madden coin making tips. Just going to jump right into some auction house tips for you guys, no delay. Just to let you know, um, for the guys on YouTube, there will be three short videos out. Uh, one on auction house tips, one on market analysis, and one on solo discussions. So make sure you go check out my other videos. Um, to the guys on Twitch, you'll have all that coming up. And then we'll be doing a Doritos code giveaway. I'll be doing one of those on YouTube as well. So everyone watching on Twitch, if you don't win here, uh, feel free to stop by there. And you'll have another shot at winning yourself one of those. Um, so here we go. All right, if you guys were with me last year, you remember I talked a lot about flipping the uniforms. Um, and not quite so easy to do this year. A lot of these are really cheap. Uh, the auction house, I'm not as happy with it this year. But most of these are getting posted for 200 no matter what they are. Uh, there's a couple exceptions. Uh, I haven't quite nailed down the uh, jersey market yet, and I'll have some more updates for you guys on that in the coming weeks. But I did want to talk to you about some playbooks, because there are a couple playbooks out there that I have actually flipped a couple times and made some coins on. So the Eagles offense is going for about 2,000 coins. So we're down to about 1,600. I mean, I'm tempted to buy this and flip it for 50. I'd make a couple hundred coins. It's not a lot of coins, but um, we're going to do it because I know that that 1,600 will sell. And I can sell this one for 17. I'm completely fine doing that and making, I mean, every little bit helps. You know, if you're going team no money spent, definitely every little bit helps. Uh, but I bought one of these for 200 and sold it for 1900 earlier. So keep an eye on these. The other uh, team that I noticed has some expensive playbooks is the Seahawks. And that's just like all of them are expensive. Uh, the offense is going for 12 and the defense is going for 2. Uh, this is on time remaining. There we go. It's like, that's not right. Yeah, offense is going for about 1000 and the defense defense is coming down. There's a lot for 12 now. So I'm not going to buy this. Uh, but this defense was up at like 2,000 not too long ago. We still got a lot of guys opening packs because it's the beginning of the season. So a lot of this stuff is still relatively cheap. Uh, once we get later on and people quit going through pro pack bundles, some of the prices on those will go up a little bit more. Um, where I have done some flips this season and... Again, if you guys watched me last year, you know uh, I talked about spending quite a bit of time on these is badges. These are the most consistent thing in the Mutt market. I'm going to do some market chatter later, um, so I'll wait to kind of drill you guys on some of the reasons why. But as far as price stability goes, you know that these things aren't going to just plummet in price dramatically unless some bundle comes out that gives you guaranteed you know gold badge or better or something like that uh, but these are selling the gold badges have gone up I mean they're at 7k now uh, so if you can find any snipes on these or even if you go to some of the bids uh, that's how I got mine I scored some of these for like 2,000 you know slap some bids in on these it's a little bit quicker to bid this year to get into the bid wars because it only refreshes up to 20 seconds now. I really like that. So if there's a lot of these that are expiring at the same time for really cheap, I'll go bid on all as many of those as I can because it's hard for people to bid on all of them at the same time now and keep them going. Uh, you can flip silvers. Silvers were really cheap because everyone got a bunch for free at the beginning of the uh, season. The first bundles had these in them and you just got them. They were going for like 900. So we see, I mean, these 1400s are selling so these are at like 1.5 right now. Um, a lot of people will still post these for 1,000, so you can make some quick coins off, off of those. Auction House is a little bit clunkier this year, uh, so I'm doing a lot of my searching in the sets areas. There's some good areas to do some flipping in here, specifically uh, in the captains. There's some really good gold cards in here and just other cards, 
talk to you guys a little bit more about gold cards during the market analysis section. But for instance, um, these fullbacks, man, these fullbacks are going for a lot. Uh, 25, 30, somewhere in there. I see a lot of these Bruce Miller, uh, these Millers for like 25. I mean, 89 run block, 80 catch, 80, like he's, that's a pretty good card. To, let's be honest here. Um, but he goes in the set too for Kaepernick and so there's a lot of demand for him from both people wanting to start him and put him into these sets the same can be said for uh, the Giants fullback Wynoski these have jumped a lot in price yep uh, I should have bought one for 30 when I could have want to do this set and I wouldn't mind starting him for a while I mean 94 run blocking I don't know if you guys watch me play games, but I love iForms, so mm, it's just 94. Nom. But I look a lot in here on the Elites, too, just to see if anyone posted one of these for cheap. Um, again, you do have to go down to the Buy Now and Sort and all that fun stuff. Uh, I do a lot of bidding, so put in bids on the cheap ones. and Then go check your My Bids and see what's going on with those. Coster, what up, man? How's your night going? And then the other area in sets that I'm looking to do flipping in is the Legends area. So a lot of these I don't have prices down on, but you can flip the collectibles. Again, you can go in here and see what they're going for, and then see if any of them are priced cheaper, and just kind of bump through these. It's a good thing to do when you're like, watching TV or you know, when there's football games on. Nice, dude. Uh, but yeah, so this is kind of where I'm looking to do my set. So if you notice now that I completed the John Randall set, um, while I completed this, I flipped four or five of the collectibles because I was bidding on them and I was able to get a lot of them for pretty cheap. It was during the weekend that the Legends bundles were out, um, so a lot of these were going for cheaper. Uh, I flipped some of these Legends badges that weekend too. I was able to buy these for like 9k and get rid of them for like 14 and that's about where they're still at now. So I do imagine these are going to go up probably get back up there's still a lot on the market though so they're not going to go up anytime soon but when you notice that there's not like just an endless amount of these what I like to pay attention to is uh, how much time remaining you see in here when you back sort it so go up to the top here three hours so we're we're not seeing anything that's more than three hours on here, which means that there's a surplus of these being posted and the prices shouldn't go up too much too quickly. Uh, that's barring, you know, they don't release some awesome legend that everyone goes after. Patriots, what up? Yeah, Twim's happening tonight. It'll be on uh, about seven to like half hour. So I'm going to rip through some more uh, tips for you guys. So that's it on the auction house tips for week one for you guys. Again, I'll be back with some more, letting you guys know where to look in here, uh, what areas. There's some good options to make some flips on. I haven't really gotten into the stars yet to know. I know there's a lot of these on the market right now because they were in uh, one of those mystery boxes. So they're you might be able to pick up some of these for cheap, but that's kind of where I'm looking, where I'm starting to look, uh, how I'm starting to investigate stuff um, on the auction house. So for the guys on YouTube, thanks for stopping by and checking out the auction house tips. Make sure you go uh, hit the like if you like the video, smash that subscribe button if you want to know I'm coming out with more content, and check out my market analysis and solo discussion videos as well. For the guys on Twitch, 